This is the third video in our series reviewing buying a custom built gaming PC from overclockers.uk. In this part, we are going to plug it in and switch it on for the first time. We already encountered a slight issue. The ports are labeled DVI, they're all DVI, but they're not DVI, they're DVID. These are DVID. And the connectors we've got are presumably for DVI I. What this means is that our older connectors don't work. Let's plug in. We tried plugging them in. Well, we did try because we didn't think. And we realised no, they won't go in. That this long bit is a bit thick. Too thick for that hole. If you look. It's a lot thicker, longer. The length is longer. It's thicker as well, probably. I don't know if you can see. It just won't fit. So now, now we're stuck, which means we're probably going to have to use the HDMI. It's the HDMI. So we're going to fire it up with the HDMI on the card. It's got on board. And it's got the card, the GTX 1050i. So that's the first issue we have that you might have. Don't try and f make sure you check which connectors you've got. DVI-I or DVI-D. These are DVI-D. It says DVI. It says DVI, but they're not. It's a DVI. -D. D and you need a different connector if you've got an older DVI eyes which were the standard. The difference is that the DVI D that's these only send out digital signals while as the DVI I sends out digital or analog so compatible with older screens monitors. That's the difference, so let's try again with HDMI cables instead. That's the HDMI plugged into the GTX and here we have the HDMI with the DVI to go into the monitor. And the DVI-D, this is the DVI-D. Hopefully it will work. HDMI to DVI-D monitor.